The story is such a very inspiring and at the same time a wonderful story. So how many acres of coffee do you have? You have only one acre. Wow, I can see this coffee is really doing so well. How many bags of rice do you expect from this garden? Oh, this garden, I get 18 bags. 18 bags? Yeah, one season. One season? Yeah. And how much do you, can you get from uh, those 18 bags? Those 18 bags, since the price of rice is low, I get 2 million. You get 2 million. My name is Wede Califan. I am a rice grower in Namukolo village, in profession. Oh, you were a teacher? Yeah. By profession? Yeah. So how long did you teach? I taught for 18 years. Did you retire? Now, I, I was teaching in a private school. Was it? Mm. Therefore, I decided to resign from teaching profession. Why? Why did you resign? Now, I realized that I taught for all those years, but I did not gain more or anything from teaching profession towards development in my family. Therefore, I resigned and I decided to come and start growing rice. Now, since I started growing rice, right now I see a difference. I have some assets in my home. I constructed my house. I bought a TV, which mm. I was not able to access when I am in teaching profession. Wow. Yeah. I can see you are cutting rice we can call it harvesting rice yeah i also saw a coffee plantation you have you are you are really doing well by the way yeah. because now how many bags of rice do you expect from this garden now this garden i get 18 bags 18 bags yeah one season one season yeah and how much do you can you get from uh, those 18 bags those 18 bags since the price of rice is low i get two million you get two million yeah so how much is a kilo a kilo of rice at the market it is now two thousand two hundred shillings 2200 shillings yeah that is actually very low yeah. wow so you can tell me that farming is actually much better than the private school that you were teaching before yes yes, yes, yes. wow so that is only rice what other farming things do you do because i know you are not only doing rice okay i have a coffee plantation mm. then i have a a garden of cassava and uh, I also grow yams. Yams? Yeah. Is growing yams profitable? Okay, I it is profitable when you grow at a large scale because one bag of yams is at uh, 250 shillings, Uganda shillings. One bag of yam is at 250,000. Yeah. And what about coffee? Coffee, now when you take it to the grinding machine, uh, we sell at 90,000. A kilo? Yeah, a kilo. And how many bags of can you get from one acre of land? I mean from one acre per harvest? Per harvest, you can get let me say in the kilograms you can get nine hundred kilograms. Nine hundred kilograms. Yeah. In one acre. Yeah. Per one harvest. Yeah. And each kilogram is nine thousand. Yeah. That means you're a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret coming to farming? I don't regret. 
Here he planted maize, beans, and some tomatoes, all within one garden. And uh, I think it's doing well because also the rain is uh, is well. But I am trying my level best to see that my children get better education and they get degrees. And I know they will because you are really working so hard. Yeah. Okay, now... So how many acres of coffee do you have? You have only one acre. Yeah. Wow, I can see this coffee is really doing so well. No wonder you said you can make, you can get about uh, 900 kilos. What? Did you say 900 kilos? Yeah. In one acre you can get 900 kilos? That is in how long? In, in a period of six months, you can get 900 kilos. You can do the mathematics. Now here, what happened to this now? It was wind. Oh, wind. This is also your maze. And uh, beans garden. So in, in other words, you do mixed farming. So, how many acres of rice are you having? Two acres. Two acres only. From growing rice, eh, cassava, and coffee, I also grow. Eh, Maize, beans, and uh, some tomatoes as their sauce in my family. Okay. Yeah. So, are they? Do you grow them for commercial purpose or for for eating? Okay. Maize, I grow it for home consumption plus beans, but rice coffee and uh, some cassava I grow it for commercial purposes but I also eat rice in my home because I cannot sell all oh. uh, wow that is now what are some of the challenges you face in uh, in farming the challenges I face in farming more especially rice it is rats we have uh, many rats. We try to trap them or poison them, but they cannot eat poison sometimes. What about market? Market, the, ma the market for race, it is there, but only the price is low. The price is mm, low. But the market, we have read the market, but the price. The price is low. Uh, is low. We don't earn some money. So
some good money from the harvest. I am sure some of my subscribers, you know, everybody eats food. Yeah. <laughs> they would want to probably buy from here because probably uh, some of them they would have just want to buy to support you yeah. or buy to just uh, as some of them are business people anyway yeah so how can they contact you if they want to buy something from you if they want to buy rice from me i can give them my contact is such that when I harvest, they can come and collect. All right. So, guys, I'm going to leave his contact in the channel description. You can do well to contact him and ask him other questions. So, which type of rice do you grow? Okay, this type of rice I grow, they call it chairman or kisanja. Oh, chairman or kisanja. Why yeah. do they call it so? Okay, they call it Kisanja because it gives high yield, you see. Oh, uh, it doesn't disappoint. It uh, doesn't disappoint the farmer. Wow. Uh, I, 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 am, I actually saw it. It actually did well. Yeah. I was even surprised because uh, some people, theirs are not doing well, but yours are doing well. Yeah. So if, if you... There are many people who are running to the city. Yeah. They want to leave the village. What advice can you give to them? My, my, the advice I give to them that in the cities, you know, this world, everybody has the place where he can belong. When he, you cannot fit in the cities and you decide to go there, again, you regret. That is why. For me, I decided to be in villages and do farming activities because you gain more than being in cities where by everything, you buy food, you buy water, you pay rent. But for me here, I don't pay rent, I don't buy water, I don't buy food. Therefore, the man I get, uh, it helps me in my development. Therefore, I advise people, if you have the land where you can grow crops, it is better to go and grow crops than being in, 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 in cities looking for jobs. Wow. That is a, a very wonderful speech. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate i hope uh, my some of my subscribers and viewers contact you because i think you have a lot to say but because of time i'm going to leave your contact i know people will contact you yes thank you so much have a good day i can see it is raining you are welcome okay